Good morning, Donald Valeros. Please stand for the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today is a new day. I am the best student I can be. I do my best schoolwork. I respect others. I play fairly. I am proud of all I do and Today's say. Today's will be Bosco Six or Chicken Tenders. Tomorrow's breakfast will be breakfast pizza. Now to the word of the week with Sarah. The word of the week is kindness. It means con- con- consideration and realness and to to help others. Today's example is kindness is forgiving others. Try using it today. Now to the thought of the day with Logan. The thought of the day is instead of thought of the day from now to Christmas break, we will share a random act of kindness. Try this one today and spread kindness and cheer. Call a friend or relative far away just to say hello. Today's random act. Here's Sammy with today's weather. Today's weather will be Chilly with a few flurries. High of 29, low of 24. Now to today's birthdays and upcoming events with me. Today's birthdays and upcoming events are today Kane, J, Madison C, and Emma B are celebrating their birthdays. Happy birthday. Don't forget to practice singing for your music programs. Third grade, your performance is tonight. Now to today's pr- trivia with Milo. Well, today's trivia question is, in 1980, only 14% of homes had this appliance. Now over 80% have one making it one of the fastest growing household pro- products. What is it? answer is a microwave oven. Oven. Today's trivia question is, which continent has the fewest land animals? Place your answer in the trivia box outside the library. Good luck. Learn something new today and have a great day. Hey, it's Mrs. McKasick. Good morning from the library. Let's take a look at our flower. Do you remember that when I first brought it in, it was only one inch tall? Now look at this baby. And yesterday it looked like there were three blossoms going to be three flowers on this stem but today we can see there's going to be four so as you're walking down the hall take a look in the window and see what happens with our flower we still have one bloom yet to blossom so anyways a couple notes from the library yesterday uh, students got rewards for the red white and blue bingo Students who did the bingo coverall got chocolate, a chocolate Santa, and a bookmark. And if you just did one to three bingos, you got a bookmark. So I want to make sure everybody understood why some people got chocolate. Congrats to all who participated. If you are not able to do that uh, weird school challenge, you there are going to be many more challenges at all reading levels after Christmas. So watch for those to come in January. Please turn in your late books. I need all late books before Christmas. And please do not ask for candy in the library. If people ask for candy, the candy will leave the library. There will be no candy in the library. Because we really read for fun and to learn, not for candy. So that's just a little extra incentive, but we don't ask for it. Soon we're going to be taking a pretend airplane trip to Mexico. So in honor of that and to get ready for that, today we're going to talk about a beautiful book called The Night of Los Posados, um, which is a Mexican tradition at Christmas. Christmas Eve in southwestern U.S. and in Mexico is celebrated by a traditional procession called Los Posados. Sister Angie, in this book, Sister Angie arranges for the people of the village to reenact um, the night where Mary and Joseph searched for shelter the night that baby Jesus was born. This year was going to be extra special. Sister Angie's nephew, uh, or niece, Lupe, and Lupe's husband, Roberto, were going to play the part of Mary and Joseph. 
But as in all good stories, there's a big problem. Sister Angie gets sick, and Roberto and Lupe, who are going to play the main parts, are stuck in a snowstorm. What will happen to Los Posados that night? Only a miracle can save Los Posados. If you'd like to know about that miracle, you want to check out this book, The Night of Los Posados, which was written and illustrated by an amazing writer named Tommy DePaulo. And this is available in the library. Happy reading.